Hey folks, we're Kansas bound this week for Tractor Tales to check out an Oliver 1750. This is a 1969 Oliver 1750. And it's, uh, I don't know the serial brake, but it does have the over under shift, which the earlier ones just had hydropower, a high low. You just don't find very many Olivers down here around this Lawrence, Kansas area. I mean, there's a few, but just not very many. Uh, if you're wanting to find one, it's just, you almost have to go north, up into Iowa and Minnesota, up through that area. I just kind of got on an Oliver bug. I don't know why. I start, get on here and I, st and I, I order some Oliver books, you know, online and, and Amazon. And then I, I start looking on Google about this and videos. And I always wanted an Oliver. I wanted Dad to get one back when we had a, a dealer in Lawrence. When I was a kid, I always heard the Olivers was a Cadillac of tractors, even above John Deere. You know, back like in the 60s and stuff, but I don't know, that's just hearsay, I guess, but you know. I don't know, I just thought I wanted one. Well, from the past to the future, one thing was clear at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas last week, the ability to connect consumers to farmers elevated agriculture's image. But it also created meaningful conversations. Up next, we're giving you a front row seat why agriculture took center stage at CBS. U.S. Farm Report is produced and distributed by Farm Journal Broadcast.